Hello YouTube fans. So I've been getting a lot of requests for questions and stuff about la the uh, K40 laser. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick walkthrough. I'm in the process of engraving some dog tags for a customer. I'm sitting here watching it through the uh, acrylic plate that's on top of my uh, laser engraver. Um, good thing about engraving anodized aluminum, there's really no uh, I don't know what you call debris or smoke or anything like it. It just burns through the anodization. And uh, the dog tags I get, I actually get them from Chewbarka. Uh, I had the card sitting here. One second. I get them from Chewbarka.com. Make sure if you go there to get any of your anodized aluminum or pet tags. They have all of them. They also have anodized aluminum license plates as well as uh, bracelets quarter inch and three quarter inch I believe are the two sizes they have for the bracelets and tons of other different things money clips uh, so on and so forth make sure if you go there to get your items mention that uh, I sent you I, I appreciate uh, them knowing I'm putting their name out there for no reason at all I do not get a kickback for promoting Chewbarka they uh, they've done me right quite a few times I'm very impressed with their products that they sell and uh, uh, the, I'm basically in business because of them having such a good product, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. So, as you can hear, my computer beeping in the background. I have it uh, connected to a 5.1 surround sound, so I uh, can definitely hear it when it goes off. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip cameras real quick on you and show you what I'm looking at down here on the other screen. Oh no, it's not going to let me, so I'll just have to twist the phone. So, here is my That Faith Music dog tag uh, pretty good to go oh it's still a little hot <coughs> this said I've got 50 dog tags of this design going so already got my colors separated that uh, Chewbarka has sold me as you can tell I use these little aluminum blocks to keep my light items in place that's why I do not have air assist um, if I had air assist I would definitely have to uh, have something to keep the stuff in place so now I already have it on a repeat cycle so as you can tell it's saying next task and I hit OK or cancel I'm going to go and hit cancel and show you how I got to this point yeah I really wish I could flip this thing around because this really sucks uh, but my battery's close to dead too so I'll try and make this tutorial quick so anyway so what I did is I went here to the engrave button um, you can also use the space bar when the window is highlighted. I'm just going to hit the space bar. You can hear the machine in the background getting to my zero point, which is up here in the upper left hand corner of my work area. Now something I don't know if any of you know, but you can actually take that little picture right there. You can actually move that anywhere you want. Now see how I've got it right about middle of my work area? Watch my laser head. As soon as I let off the mouse button, it moved it, and I'm going to move it back. Now it's at my zero point that I set. And I'll tell you right now, guys, um, you know, a tenth of a millimeter may not seem like much, but when you're trying to center an item, it makes all the difference in the world to the look of a project. If you, if you have an item just that far off, I'm talking a millimeter or less off, you usually don't notice it. Me, I'm nitpicky and very specific with my items, so I notice it very, very easily. So, that being said, I set my zero point where I have it. And the zero point is actually set where I have it set due to my contraption here. This contraption is actually made of aluminum. This black piece is anodized aluminum in a dark bronze. And these are just two pieces of raw aluminum. Um, I did make this piece myself. Please don't ask me to make them. I do not make them. I made it for myself because I needed it and that's it. Um, best thing I can tell anybody out there, if you want to make something, here's what I would suggest. Go out and get some of this uh, inexpensive plastic board. It's not, it's not acrylic. Do not get acrylic. The reason why I say don't get acrylic, a laser will cut through acrylic very easily. This stuff... A laser does not cut through. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell the design. I'll stick it up to the... There you go. You can tell the design there because the light, how the light comes through it. That was on cut mode. And it looks like I engraved it. 
It smells like burning wax. I don't think the fumes actually harm you. If they do, I do apologize. I don't know. I was in my garage when it happened. It smelled like burnt wax. I know I probably inhaled some of the fumes. I'm still alive. I'll leave it at that. So, um, oops, got to change out my ice packs for my water. In just a minute. So, you know, the biggest thing I can suggest, guys, is you, ooh, that one's still cold. I'm just got to flip it over. Is uh, you definitely, definitely keep an eye on how you do stuff, what you do it with. Um, but make a zero point holder. Um, you know, right now you can tell that my zero point holder actually rests up against this. And if you look, see that line right there? That line is actually made because I, uh, I tested the full extent of the laser bed work area. And when I did, the laser wrote over that. So I had to subtract the laser down some to get that point. Um, I recommend doing that or take that out, cut it, then put a zero point in. And if you can make the zero point permanent, I seriously mean it. If you can make the zero point permanent, do it. Reason why is when you have a zero point, you have the ability to know exactly where your laser is going to start. You can set it once, take your time, get it set. If it takes 20 minutes or an hour, take that time, consider it invested time, because if you invest that time, and you get that zero point set perfectly within a 0 0.001 millimeter, you will never have to set it again. You can work on projects and know that as long as you measure the project correctly, if you're using Laser Draw 3, if you're losing, using any other program, I have no experience with those yet because I don't have a laser that runs it. My cheap Chinese K40 has not been upgraded by any means, has the regular Laser Draw format software that came with it. And I use it to the fullest extent, and I have done some amazing work with it. Now, do I have to format pictures to make them work in it? Definitely. Can you use a uh, PNG file if it's got a transparent background? No, you cannot. It, it doesn't like them. I don't know why it will not work with them. You have to go in, modify them, turn them into JPEGs, bitmaps, anything without five layers or more. Um, basically, what I do is I just turn it into a JPEG and leave it at that. So, anyway... If you guys have any questions please feel free to ask please note that i am a single father of four work a 40 something hour a week job plus i have my engraving business so if i don't get back to you right away don't get mad make sure to like and share see you guys out there good luck engraving